Hi friends, welcome to I am Exploration. Do you know the mean plasma glucose for an A1C value of 8%? I will share the answer as we dive deeper into all the aspects of HbA1c. So without further delay, let's begin. Diabetes is characterized by chronic hyperglycemia. Uncontrolled diabetes is associated with long-term complications like retinopathy, neuropathy, and nephropathy. Other complications include risk of coronary artery disease, peripheral artery disease, and cerebrovascular disease like stroke. Hemoglobin A1c, or glycated hemoglobin, is an integral component of management of type 2 diabetes. A1c measurement can be used to guide the treatment of diabetes, to assess the quality of care, and to predict the risk for development and progression of diabetes complications. A1c monitoring is important to assess long-term glucose control. A1c is a glycated hemoglobin formed by the interaction of glucose and hemoglobin. A1c is formed continuously from hemoglobin A at a rate proportional to the ambient glucose concentration. A1c is a weighted average of blood glucose levels during the preceding 120 days. This is based on the average lifespan of red blood cells, which is 120 days. Glucose level in the preceding month contributes to about 50% of the A1c value. A1c may reflect postprandial and nocturnal hyperglycemia not detected by fasting blood glucose and preprandial capillary blood glucose. This table summarizes the average blood glucose levels for various A1c values. Before we move on to more details, please smash the like button if you're finding this video helpful. It apparently satisfies the YouTube algorithm. A1c is measured using a blood sample and does not require fasting. An A1c level more than 6.5% is diagnostic of diabetes. Repeat testing should be performed to confirm the diagnosis unless patient is noted to have clinical symptoms and random plasma glucose levels of more than 200 mg per deciliter. A1c level of more than 5.7% and less than 6.5 is indicative of prediabetes or risk for progression to diabetes. In the DCCT trial, each 10% reduction in A1c was associated with an approximately 45% lower risk for progression of diabetic retinopathy. Therefore, it is important to keep the HbA1c level at goal in patients with diabetes. A1c goal should be individualized according to the risk and benefit profile for each patient. The benefit of reducing long-term complications should be balanced against the increased risk of hypoglycemia that is associated with intensive therapy. A higher A1c goal can be chosen for patients with history of severe hypoglycemia, limited life expectancy, patients with advanced micro or macrovascular complications, or patients who have multiple comorbid conditions. A1c target can range from 6.5 to 7%. The American Diabetes Association recommends an A1c target of less than 7% for non-pregnant adults. Based on ADA recommendation, a 0.5% change in A1c is clinically significant and may require alteration of treatment for patients with diabetes. Aggressive lowering of A1c may result in increased risk of severe hypoglycemia and may lead to higher mortality. In patients who are at their glycemic control, the American Diabetes Association recommends measurement of A1c at least twice per year. More frequent testing every three months may be required in patients whose glucose is not under adequate control or when there are changes in management. To find out the factors that influence accurate measurement of A1c, check out this video.